these are my sweet potatoes and these are the slips from a first set of um, sweet potatoes that I've started in the soil and I've already decided that the soil method is much better than the uh, glass of water so I have some slips that are oh well over 12 inches so I'm going to harvest these or take them off and then we're going to put them in a jar of water and start rooting them so that prepares them to go into the soil outside so preparing to grow sweet potatoes is a multi-step process um, forcing slips from sweet potatoes usually organic ones that don't have um, a spray an anti-sprouting spray that you usually have um, when they sell sweet potatoes in the market um, and these were all organics and then you force uh, sprouts to form there's roots under underneath the soil level from the sweet potato and they force the sweet potatoes to get slips that come up the slips then get transferred into a jar of water and that will force them to root in the water and then those are the ones that you plant outside in the garden you can't plant a sweet potato into the garden and expect to get a crop of sweet potatoes all you're going to get are slips if the slips from that sweet potato happen to root um, into your garden then you may get some sweet potatoes but this is a the the method that you have to use if you just want to get your your full crop of sweet potatoes so it does not take much all you have to do is gently break off and this one in particular i've got two right here and it has started to root you can see already has a few roots on it so instead of breaking this one apart i'm just going to first of all i'm going to take off a few of the lower leaves so they won't rot in in the water and then that's just going to go into the water to start rooting let me get another one off here. This is a rather large one. I'm just gently pulling it. And then this one has, has some roots started already. So I will just break off. You can see too how this sweet potato will vine right at the axle here, point of a leaf and the stem. There's another little one that will form another stem. Anyway, let's just take that off and put that in here. Well, that one has a little root to start already. This one, I'm not going to pull off, but it might it probably should continue to grow into another slip. I'm just going to take the ones that are at least, I think, eight, eight inches tall. This one doesn't have any root structure underneath, but it should do fine. And there's one more if you can see this one down here it's attached there's like two right here oops i knocked it off okay we're taking both of those oh it has roots yes look at that nice root system already there we go 
take these bottom leaves off so they don't rot in the water. This one it looks like I just broke off by accident, but it is still a good um, eight to 10 inches. So that's gonna go in the water. When these get a substantial amount of roots on them, and if it's not time to go into the garden yet, these aren't going to go into my garden at least until the end of May. When the soil has warmed up to at least, um, oh, probably 60, 60, 65 degrees. But if these are too clogged with roots, I will pull them apart and I can plant them in a pot and have them starting to acclimate into growing in, in soil. And then when it's ready, they can get plopped right out into their spot in the garden. I have more slips continuing to grow here. There are some that are at different points here, and they will keep continuing to throw up slips for me that I will continue to harvest and put in a pot of water so I have more. This is another variety. This is a Japanese sweet potato. It has one very long slip. This um, vines a whole lot more than the other ones. Um, I'm going to let this one go a little bit more before I plant it. It is probably only about eight inches, but we'll let this one go just a little bit longer. I've planted a few new ones here to generate some slips. Here is one of the ones that I put in a glass jar. It is starting to sprout. I have one longish one here. There's a couple little ones that are starting to pop out. Here's another one here. Um, here's one here. I think even there's one down here. If you can see that way down here in the, oops, way down here at the water level. I can just pull that out and you can see that. So it has a healthy root system, but it certainly didn't root as fast as the ones in the soil. So this has been step two in the process of growing sweet potatoes, harvesting the slips and rooting them in water. So thanks for following along. If you like this content, please give me a thumbs up, subscribe, and I will see you when we can go digging in the dirt the next time. Happy gardening. Bye.